Well, look, I'm delighted to see that the work that has gone into ensuring that Gibraltar is, first of all, assessed by the FATF, because just getting the assessment required a lot of work. Second, reducing the outstanding items that Gibraltar had to face down to two when we were assessed. And then third, of course, dealing with those two outstanding items in record time and seeing Gibraltar come off of the list is the culmination of work from beyond number six commonplace throughout the edifice of government, in particular in law enforcement and investigation, and covering the work obviously of uh, Albert Isola, who has borne the rump of the work that had to be done at the ministerial level, the work in the past six months of Nigel Feetham, who no longer has to even tender or offer his resignation, and of all of the people in each of their ministries, in particular in the Ministry of Justice and Financial Services, that have ensured that the best of Gibraltar has shone through and that the world has seen the reality of Gibraltar's commitment to ensure that we apply the highest standards in respect of anti-money laundering in Gibraltar and the highest standards in financial services generally. Chief Minister, not to take the shine off today's good news, um, it has been a difficult two years for some businesses and reputationally it has not been good for Gibraltar being on the list with some of the countries that, that were there. How would you mitigate Gibraltar being on that list again? How would you make sure that doesn't happen again? Have lessons been learned? The work that we're doing now is ensuring that we live up to our commitment to the FATF to the high level political commitment we've given to ensure that the resources are there for the law enforcement and investigation agencies to ensure that they can do their work so that the system in financial services in Gibraltar, the financial system generally in Gibraltar is not used for any purpose that can potentially be abused by those who want to launder money. Uh, delivering on that is something that we're very keen to ensure. We don't just do that, we demonstrate that we're doing. The last two years, have been tough, you have to understand, Gibraltar did not ever deserve to go on this list. We thought from the beginning it was unfair we should go on this list. No jurisdiction has ever gone on this list because it has two outstanding points. Germany had five outstanding points and wasn't put on the list. But there was no point simply crying unfairness. We had to act to ensure that we got off the list. That's what we did. Today is a very, very proud day for Gibraltar. And every day going forward must continue to be just as proud as we demonstrate our commitment to deliver to the FATF to ensure that the system is never potentially even abused in Gibraltar. Is there any plan to get this positive message out there into the financial world? Uh, Gibraltar is no longer on the grey list. It complies with all its international obligations. Uh, is there a drive now to get that message out there and perhaps mitigate some of the damage, the reputational damage that has occurred? There's a, there's a plan to ensure that all of the the references to Gibraltar being on the grey list disappear by the many references there will be to the fact that Gibraltar is now, let's be clear, it's not that we're not on the grey list, it's that we're on the white list. That is what we're talking about. Gibraltar is now on the FATF white list. And there are some nations and there are some organisations, supranational organisations, that follow the FATF and will now take us from their grey lists, on which we were not but were put only because the FATF put us on their grey list, and who will now put us on their white list. So there will be many more opportunities to make the headlines saying that Gibraltar is now a white list jurisdiction when it comes to financial services and the use of our finance system generally. So this is a great opportunity to tell the best of Gibraltar and to highlight the unfairness of the past two years and to highlight how Gibraltar is working to ensure that we are never again on any list other than everybody's white list. Well, that brings me to my final question. We are obviously waiting to come off the Spanish blacklist. Do you have... And there are other lists, There's not just the Spanish list. There are a number of other lists where we're not on the white list. And I very much look forward to everybody realising that Gibraltar deserves one thing and one thing only, to be on the international white list when it comes to our financial system and our financial services. Does work continue, though, with, with the Spanish to, to, get that, uh, to get Gibraltar off that uh, Gibraltar, list? Gibraltar continues to work in delivering against its commitment on the international tax treaty with Spain. We've never stopped. We've never wanted to say that there is more to do because there isn't more to do. We have now got to the stage where Spain must honour its commitment to remove us from the whitelist and from the blacklist. And as far as I understand, they are doing so.